Hi, I'm Margaret Placentra Johnston, and I'm the author of the recently published Overcoming Spiritual Myopia, A View Toward Peace Among the Religions. A few words in my title might need some clarification. In a prior video, I talked about the word myopia, and I'll briefly recap it here. So I'm an optometrist by profession and eye doctor, and I prescribe glasses and contact lenses to correct vision disorders. And one of the most common of all vision disorders is myopia or nearsightedness. So people who are myopic, they can see things that are close to them and they cannot see the bigger picture out there in the world. So they are short sighted. They're lacking vision about the bigger picture. Now, it, it, sometimes when I talk about my book title or when I talk about my general writing topic, which is spiritual development, people seem to maybe sometimes have some confusion about what I mean by the word spiritual. One reason I think that is, is that the connotation of the word spiritual has been changing for the past few decades. If you think back 30 or 40 or maybe even 50 years ago, if someone used the word spiritual, what they were kind of referring to was the attempt to connect with some other reality other than the current world. So there were people who had parapsychological um, powers or psychic powers. They were seeking paranormal experiences. They maybe out of body experiences. They could connect with dead people. They could foretell the future. That's what the connotation of spirituality meant, n n meant several decades ago. However, now what's emerging is a different connotation of the word spirituality and I think it merits a lot of attention in today's world. So spirituality now means something more like human authenticity, meaning that the person is more authentic in their dealings with the reality of our world. So they are attentive to new information coming in about what life is about and what the answers are, the questions might be. Furthermore, they make intelligent use of this information. Now, by intelligence, I do not mean that they have a high IQ necessarily or that they are cunning and sly, but I do mean that they make a balanced and responsible use of the information they have in guiding their lives. And lastly, that they are responsible and the people um, that they make responsible decisions that are responsible not just for themselves, but for the entire universe or the entire world. So uh, the new connotation of spirituality is more about something, a kind of maturity in the way a person approaches life in general. And this is distinct, distinguished from religion in the way that religion has more to do with the institutional aspects of faith and belief. And sometimes, especially in the Christian connotations, it has more to do with salvation in the next world rather than authentically dealing with what's present in our current world. So spirituality is something more like inner peace in this world, genuine connection with a greater part of what's available to us in the universe today. And it has less to do with salvation in the next world or, or certainty. So uh, spirituality is something to be developed in this world if you want to live an authentic life.